A great start to week three of the college football season for the borderline. Can UTEP and New Mexico State keep the party going tonight? Both teams in action about 500 miles away from each other. The Miners are in Tucson taking on Pac-12 foe Arizona. Meanwhile, the Aggies are in Albuquerque taking on rival New Mexico. Let's start off with the 113th edition of the Rio Grande rivalry. Jerry Kilt back on the sidelines coaching NMSU after missing two days of practice due to an undisclosed health issue. Good to see him back trying to lead the Aggies to back to back wins over the Lobos. First quarter, Lobos up 3 0. The red zone in the red zone with another chance to score. Sherrod White on the run, but Miles Rouser pokes the ball out with his head. Dylan Early recovers the fumble and it's NMSU ball. Ensuing drive, Star Thomas caps off a 10 play 88 yard drive with that rushing touchdown. Aggies take a 7 to 3 lead. Second quarter, Lobos respond with a touchdown of their own. They take a 10 to 7 lead after that. Less than a minute to go until the half. Diego Pavia dropping dimes to Jonathan Brady for the 31 yard touchdown. Aggies going to the half with a 17 10 lead. Fourth quarter, NMSU up 20 to 10. Lobos at the one. Dylan Hopkins dot up Andrew Erickson for the score. It's a three point ball game. Aggies ball now and on the first play of the ensuing drive Pavia hits Brady again for the 75 yard catch and run touchdown. New Mexico State goes on to secure a 27 17 win over rival New Mexico. That's two straight rivalry game wins for the Aggies and it's first in Albuquerque since 2017. KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver was in the queue and recaps the 113th edition of the Rio Grande rivalry. Yes, yeah, Sam, how about that for Diego Pavia? The Volcano Vista graduate was not recruited by the University of New Mexico out of high school. His first taste of the Rio Grande rivalry and what a performance from Pavia. 11 carries, 96 yards on the ground, 9 for 14, 203 yards, and those two touchdowns to Jonathan Brady. Simply put, he was the difference in this game for the Aggies as they go on the road and, as you said, get their second consecutive victory over at the rival Lobos. Pavia just impeccable after that first drive after NMSU forced is that fumble to get the ball back. They go a long, a long ways over 90 yards, almost 90 yards, excuse me, uh, to score the touchdown. And they were off and rolling from there. Post game, Diego Pavia discussing what this game meant to him and for players across New Mexico. Shoot, recruit New Mexico. That's all I can say. I feel like now they now they know um, New Mexico players are the real deal. Really, you should take risk on guys from your own state who really want to play. It's not the next best thing. It is the best thing. Um, you know, Coach Gill does a wonderful job with us. I was a little worried because I know this meant so much to him, and I was a little worried that he might press a little bit and try to, you know, push it a little bit too much and try to do too much, but he didn't. He played within himself. This rivalry, it meant something to, you know, just people walking around in cruises, just people to, like, you know, that's just knowing about this game. So. You know, we did that for them. I mean, we did. We came together as a team, and we, we handled it. He's tough as nails, man. So we ride behind him whenever. That's our guy. I love that man. That's Jonathan Brady at the end there talking about New Mexico State head coach Jerry Kill. Of course, you just heard from assistant head coach uh, Tim Beck. He's also the offensive coordinator. Kill did not speak to us post game. As again, under the weather is what NMSU called it. Dealing with a medical issue all week long was Jerry Kill. He was on the sidelines tonight. Actually got hit during one of the plays by uh, accidentally by a University of New Mexico player. Had a bloody nose. Uh, had to deal with that. So he was just a little banged up um, during this game. Uh, was head coach Jerry Kill had to take a little bit of some time to just catch his breath post game but they say he is fine he's feeling good after that victory his second consecutive win in two years as the head coach of the New Mexico State Aggies over at the UNM Lobos we'll continue wrapping up this game tomorrow on Nyon Overtime Remix for now Sam back to you